morning everybody how are we good today, today you're very early uh, did we do the exercise uh -huh. the list of answers is here here is the list of questions let's mark ourselves as usual thank you very much yesterday and what are we looking at this week yes that's lovely i said this week we are looking at verbs and tenses and who can remind us what is a verb yes a verb is a doing word or a verb is an action word do you remember any examples of verbs uh-huh yes swim dance Clap, sleep, and many others. Okay, so today we are going to look at tenses and we shall be using the verbs at the same time. We shall see how they work together. And before we go any further, can everybody stand up, please? Yeah, some of us are still sleeping. Make sure you stand up. Are you ready to sing with me? Uh -huh. You're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, wave to us. If you're happy and you know, wave to us. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know, wave to us. If you're happy and you know, walk around. If you're happy and you know, walk around. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know, walk around. Okay. How many of us sang with teacher? Good. And according to our song, we have here some verbs. Yes, for example, which verb can you remember from the song? Yes, there was walk, there was wave, there was, what else was there? I don't know, but you know. Okay, let us look at the success criteria before we continue. I can define a tense. Lovely. I can use the given mm -hmm. yes I can use the given tenses to construct a sentence I can give examples of different tenses and who can remember what a tense is a tense is a part of a, of a verb that tells us when the action takes place. It's a part of a verb which helps us to know when the action took place. For example, did it happen yesterday? Has it happened today? Will it happen tomorrow? Is it happening now? So that is the purpose of Tense. It depends on which tense you are using. And we are going to look at different tenses. For example, we shall be looking at present continuous tense or present simple tense, the everyday tense, the past tense, and the future tense. But to begin with, we shall look at present simple tense. The present simple tense is used to show something is happening more. What do I mean by something happening more? It keeps on happening. For example, the baby keeps on crying. She does not keep cry once and stop. Today she will cry, tomorrow she will cry. Even the other day, babies always do what? Or babies always cry. It is something that keeps on happening. For example, when we are using the present simple tense on our verbs, 
we add letters like S, E, S, and sometimes I, E, S. For instance, if I have the word, the verb go, in the present simple tense, I will add E, S, and the word will be goes. Are we together? We have many examples here. Let's look at them. We have go, and remember we say in present continuous tense or present simple tense, we, are, we either add S, E, S, or I, E, S on the verbs to get the present simple tense or present continuous tense. For instance, we have these verbs here. Go, add E, S, it becomes goes. Eat, only add S, it becomes eats. And cook, we only add S and it becomes cooks. Go, goes, eat, eats, cook, cooks. Are we together? For example, I can say, he goes to school every day. She eats food every lunch. It cries every morning. They keep on taking place. But when you're talking about yourself, like I, the verb will not change. I cannot say I goes. I cannot say I eats. I cannot say I cries. When you're talking about yourself, the verb does not change. Tell the person next to you that when you're using I or you're talking about yourself, the verb does not change. And we say, for example, I go, I eat, I cry. Is that right? Never forget this. So, we are going to do an exercise and then we see what to do tomorrow. Read with me. Complete the following sentences in present simple tense using the words given in brackets. She dash milk every day. In brackets, we have sell. Annette dash the heart every Friday. In brackets, we have sweep. She dash to the farm every day. In brackets, we have go. He dash the farm every week. In brackets, we have slash. He dash animals every day. We have graze. Penina dash water every morning, we have fetch. Okay, in your best handwriting, do that work.